Right, so first thing in the morning, before you eat anything, do a little fasted cardio. You know, get in the pool, work out, do some laps, work on your breathing. Your breath is, has so much to do over, you know what I'm saying, like your, your, your mental state, you know what I'm saying, your calm. That's when you're working on your training, your breathing, you always want to keep that straight. So like being in the pool is a full body workout. You know, your upper body, your core, your lower legs. Especially with me, all these injuries over the years, being in the water really just like, it really just keeps my joints uh, comfortable. You know what I mean? It takes the pressure off my, uh, some of my injuries. Using the water resistance really helps out a lot. So I've uh, started to get more into the water as a warm up to get my body going before I actually get to the real workout. So this is a nice little, nice little warm up. Each workout, I'll do 10 sets. Start at 10 and work our way down. So first set is 10, second set is nine, third set is eight, and so on and so forth, so you to zero. And then you'll finish the workout. So that's a good way to kind of, you know, trick your mind. So you're like, when you're really, really tired, you're like, oh, I only got five left, I can do five. I'm not gonna be able to do five of these. And you continue, like, continuously push, push yourself. So right now I'm gonna start with dumbbell curls. Then we're gonna roll right into overhead dumbbell press. Okay, so Keep moving. Yeah. Dumbbell curls. I mean, that's just great for conditioning, you know, for explosion, um, and, you know, and putting intensity into my workouts. And also you see, you know, your inst instant gratification. You can actually see, you know, your, your, your biceps gaining shape. You know, your arms usually are one of the stronger parts of, of, of your body. So for me, it's really easy for me to do those. I have a broad back, so, you know, doing overhead dumbbell press, and uh, shoulder presses are, are, are always a lot of fun for me. Gives you those, those, uh, those bolder shoulders that um, Adonis is known for. I've been working so much from project to project, a lot of my goals kind of factor into the roles that I play. My training goals to, you know, to play, you know, Navy SEAL was just really to trust the process and do the work and you can't skip any steps. So to transform myself physically and mentally was uh, was the goal, you know. I trained with veterans from the Army, from Navy SEALs, and then immediately after that, I started training for Creed Three. Just got finished doing a little mini circuit, kind of dumbbells, curls, overhead press, bent over rows. Now I do some ball slams for to, to the battle row. So. Ball slams are definitely something that I really, really enjoy doing. It really allows me to like let out a lot of aggression. You know, it's it's kind of therapeutic once you find a rhythm of just like, you know, picking the ball up, um, stretching out, and just like, you know, throwing it down to the ground as hard as you can, you know, over and over and over again. You really start to find a rhythm and it, and, and it just, uh, I don't know, it feels good just getting, getting that out. Last station of the circuit on the battle ropes. You gotta give it all you got. It's engaging your core, your arms, back, quads. 30, 30 seconds to a minute, give it all you got. All right, let's go. Battle ropes, battle ropes is a lot of fun also because it just, well, okay, I lied. Battle ropes aren't fun. It, it's work and it, it, you really feel it in a short amount of time. But again, finding that rhythm, that coordination between you know your, you know, your left arm, your right arm, and just you know um, getting that pattern. Uh, so I, I use all those things to kind of help motivate me in that 40 seconds, that minute, that minute and a half that you're that you're going all out. It really, um, it, it, you really feel that workout. After a really really tough workout, I, you know, just cooling down and, and resting your mind, I think is extremely important. You know, I really like to end my workout with meditation. Meditation has definitely helped me. Just clear my mind for you know the, the day ahead. Think about the things that that just happened that I need to kind of process, or before I start my day, you know, planning the things that I want to achieve, the things I want to do, and really putting that at the forefront of my brain and, and seeing it before I actually walk out and do it is extremely important. So um, meditation is just uh, a way to you know to get you focused 